Hi everyone, here's Abdul and today we have another watch review. So if you're new to the channel, I uh, make uh, English videos on Friday and Sunday at uh, 4 p.m. Central European time and on Wednesday at the same time, 4 o'clock Central European time. So if you like this kind of content, so uh, be sure to be subscribed so you get the notifications as soon as I upload new videos. So today we have another watch review of a watch that I got on the Amazon uh, wardrobe program where you can uh, buy a watch, try it for a week or any product actually uh, from that program, uh, try it for a week and you don't pay anything until you decide you want to buy the watch, the product or whatever and then you can buy it or send it back. Um, for the past couple of weeks, you have been seeing the other uh, Citizen watches that um, I, I, I also had. I uh, wore for a day or so, and then I put back in the box. This was one the, the one that I'm, I was most probably going to uh, keep. But then after a couple of days of wearing, I decided um, I would rather get a Eco Drive that has the same case shape than this one uh, because of one reason. Um, the rotor for me sounds too loud. I don't know if uh, you can hear it, but I will try as my best. Other than that, the watch is pretty cool. I really like the case shape. I like the, the finishing on it. I, I love that it has uh, a brushed and um, polished elements to it it gives it a bit more like a explorer vibe i really like the black dial there is also green and blue dial from the same watch uh which are really cool as well um the size let, let's check the size uh the size is 40 so i think it's 41 millimeters or at least that's what they say but it seems like it's 42, but the luck to luck distance here is 46.5, which is pretty cool. Um, that's one of my favorite uh, luck to luck sizes and 11.5 millimeters thickness. Um, Citizen has always this weird strap uh, uh, sizes. So this one is 21 millimeters and um, they actually um, delivered uh, a leather strap and i usually don't like leather straps but i actually uh, not sorry i love leather straps but i don't like supplied oem leather straps uh, usually on on cheap watches this this is by the way uh, on amazon it's around 140 euros so uh, which is a good price i saw it on other websites like 130 to 130 so if you find it in that range uh, it's definitely a cool watch uh, but the strap is pretty good, I have to say. The strap is uh, uh, wears pretty nice, wears really good. The leather feels nice. It's thick, it's good, it looks pretty cool on the black dial. And uh, definitely um, one of these watches that uh, from from... From price quality here, you're getting a lot for your money, I have to say. Um, as you can see here, that's the case back. So the basic stuff for the watch is that the watch is 100 meters water resistance, which is 10 bar. And it has a Japanese movement, has an in-house citizen movement. We have here the reference number, the number of the, the model itself. Uh, the model itself is NJ01111E with the caliber 8210. Uh, basically, the, 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 this watch is there. It doesn't have a screw down crown, but it has winding. It has a non hanking movement, so the, the movement doesn't hack. Uh, but it has, uh, you can switch the date, so it has a quick set date function. And you do have this very cool, uh, chapter ring as well. Uh, but this chapter ring doesn't have any kind of loom. But the loom itself is pretty good. I have to say the loom, you have a lot of loom pips. You have a lot of loom at the hand as well. And uh, it looks very good. And uh, this watch is basically uh, the competitor of this watch, the Seiko 5. So the Seiko 5 basically is uh, entry-level Seiko watches. Uh, or at least field watch and this is supposed to be also a field watch um this one they are all, both around the same price and uh, this one a little bit ex more expensive a little bit more um, exclusive because of the arabic uh, eastern arabic dial 
but I would rather have the citizen if I'm if I'm not looking at dial shape pattern in in the Eastern Arabic dial is not my favorite kind of dial. I would rather have the citizen than the Seiko. Um, the build quality of the citizen is much better, at least for this one. Uh, the specs are much better. You have an uh, automatic movement uh, here is automatic as well, but you have your hundred meters water resistant. You have your fifty. Um, I like the day function that it has a box around the day. It's a bit small, but still legible. And the uh, thickness of the watch is almost same, same thickness. But as you can see, the size is uh, a bit different. So if we can, if we look at the lug to lug distance for this one, you have 46, like I said, and for this one, 51. So that's a five millimeter difference. So for small size wrists or for medium size wrists like mine, I have a 17 centimeter, 6.69 inches wrist. I would definitely recommend the Citizen over the Seiko. Yeah, um, what else? Yeah, the only thing I didn't like, like I said, was this rotor movement and the idea that I already have a lot of automatic watches. I already have an automatic watch with a black dial in the field form. I have several black dials in Nomos, the, the, the Rolex, um, the Tudor. So for me, uh, another black dial without any kind of extra function, like let's say I don't have a titanium watch. If this is what's a titanium case, I would have kept it. I don't have an echo drive. If this was an echo drive with the same case shape, because this case shape is perfect for me. Like I really like the case shape. Uh, but that's the thing. Um, let's move this. Oh. Let's move it like this. So you have the all the text. So that's basically my review for this watch. Um, now we're going to put it on the time grapher and see how it's uh, ticking. So bear with me. So as we can see after five minutes on the time grapher, it runs around plus uh, 18, plus 19 seconds per day. That's the rate. Has an amplitude of 283 and uh, a beat error of 0 0.4 milliseconds and running on 21600 vibration per hour. So if we want to compare this to, let's say, Seiko's, I have to just uh, wind Seiko up a little bit and then put it on the time grapher. So let's pause that and, and get you the Seiko. So as we can see, the, the Seiko looks like it's all over the place. I guess because I just wind it up, so I, I don't think I would be able to compare it now. Anyways, I'll just uh, pause again, take this out of the picture and bring back the watch to give you the last words. So here you can see the watch on the original leather strap on my wrist. Like I said, I have a 17 centimeter wrist, so 6.69 inches. And uh, even if I get the uh, buckle, because I know a lot of people like me also don't like when there is a flap in the back. So here we go. And you can see on the wrist, above, above the bone, under the bone, like I like to wear it. And that's how the watch would look like. I definitely recommend the watch if you are buying a... Seiko 5 Orient TriStar alternative, then the Citizen is definitely, definitely um, a good choice, a good alternative for these watches. It's around the same price or even cheaper. And I think the quality, uh, build quality is higher and you have a better spec sheet. So I have 100 meters water resistance instead of most of the 50 meters uh, that you get from the Orient TriStar or the Seiko 5. And you also get this beautiful case shape pretty cool uh, finish and everything lines up which you cannot say at, at for every Seiko as well so thank you so much for watching like I said this is an invitation to like and subscribe the video and hopefully see you in the next video as well and of course if you have any questions any comments please leave them in the comments below it does help the channel and of course as always see you in the next video take care bye bye